Welcome to episode 1115 of the Multifamily Collective. Tonight, let's talk about those who do the most stuff win. But before we do that, head on over to multifamilycollective.com and sign up for our newsletter. Send it out every single Friday. It's full of cool stuff. Whoever tries the most stuff wins. It's it's interesting to think about going out and trying a bunch of new stuff in the multifamily space. You think about, te- you par- your mind probably defaults to technology, the latest technology that you can implement that would either create cost savings uh, in the way of efficiencies and or uh, create rev, uh, a juice to your rev or a cost benefit that is unrelated to efficiencies, right? So you want to try as much as you possibly can, but you want to do it in a system or a process that doesn't take away from actually getting business done. Sometimes you can try so much that it becomes disruptive to the business. You get distracted from what is the most important thing to do on a property. Let's call it blocking and tackling or the basics and the default answer when something doesn't get done right or in the right amount of time is, oh, well, you've got us trying all this stuff, right? And so I think that there is merit in the idea that those who try the most end up winning, but you have to do that in a measured way that is thoughtful, that is mindful, and it has contingencies set in place along the way so that you don't get off track, you don't run the property off the rails, you don't run people off the rails because you're overtaxing them with so much change at any given moment in time. So those who try the most stuff win is germane to creating innovation in your space or innovation in your practice, but do it in a thoughtful and a mindful way. Take care. We'll talk to you again.